Today we're going to be looking at how to write on your screen. So you can use this to present a little bit more visually. So I could say that this goes into this and this kind of thing. And obviously you can also write. And obviously you can also write. So let's get straight into it. So what you'll need for this is an iPad or another tablet, preferably an Apple Pen or whatever pen works for your tablet. Just a capture card, a capture card, this is HDMI to USB. Uh, I believe this was $17.99, so compared to other ones, this is not bad. Compared to the dearer options, we actually found that they were glitching a bit more and this was holding up quite well. You also need a HDMI cable and then something to connect it to your iPad. So basically you just need a way to record your iPad screen. This is just a way we found to bring it into a computer as a camera instead of just screen sharing, which means that when we put this into presental mode, it works that little bit better. As long as it will record it, preferably with audio to help you line it up, but you basically just need to be able to record your screen. Okay, so let's start connecting it up. So first off, we've got our HDMI cable, which is going into our capture card. And then we're actually gonna use a USB to USB-C adapter. And I've just gotta plug this in. Okay, so now we've plugged this in, we need to sort out the other end. So we're just gonna plug this into our adapter and then plug this end into the iPad. Okay, so now this is all connected to our computer. So we are just gonna open up GoodNotes. So now you're just gonna need to make a new document or open up a PDF. We'll be sharing the PDF in our Discord server, so make sure to join that down below. So once you open that, you should get it like this. And as you can see, we can now draw on here. So we found this works best with a white pen, so if it's not, just click up here. You want to pick this bottom one in the bottom corner, that's FF, FF, FF. This is like a pure white, which we found worked best. Now the rest of these tools, you can look around a bit, I guess. These are basically just looking at the pens, but we're gonna want to click up here onto share, and then mirror presenter page. And now this has just filled our document up on here. Now, if you haven't gathered, what we're gonna do when we bring it into editing is we're just gonna green screen this and then our writing will come through over the top. So we're just gonna write test and then I'm gonna move over to the side. So let's say I was presenting something and then I could be showing how something worked. So let's say this square goes into this circle, which then this leads into our triangle. Obviously, you'd probably know what you were doing a bit more, but now if this was not big enough, I can zoom this in on the iPad. And zooming in can really help if you want to add details. So maybe if this was A, this was B, and this was C, then, then now we've just got a bit of a clearer explanation. And then if I was trying to make more of an in-depth version of this, um, I could just swipe this up and be like, oh, this also goes into um, this other square which is labeled D. And now you can see kind of how this is used. Obviously, this is not how you'd use it. But then if I was writing this big thing, then at the end of it, I could be like, okay, this is what we've covered. Or even better, because this PDF has 10 pages, instead of wiping this all off and deleting it, you can just swipe into the next page. And you can see here that all our things are still saved on the last page, but now we're on a new one. So we can just put page two, and we can go in between these. Now for me, I'm just recording the video of this screen and combining it with the audio of this camera so that we can line it up well, but if we weren't gonna do that, then we could preferably put our pen on maximum and we could try and press down quite hard to just go. And if you need to, then you can bring it up to the microphone And you may think, Owen, why are you doing this? But this will all be before the video, so when we see that spike that you can hear I've touched the iPad, we can line that up to when the pen mark appears. Now let's bring this into our editor. 
Okay, so we've brought it into Final Cut and now I'm just basically going to show you how to line it up and also how to make your green screen transparent. So let's get into it. So first off, we're going to want our base clip and then we're going to want our iPad. Now I'm just going to visually line these up a bit and drag this out and now I'm going to use these peaks here to line this up a little bit better. And now we're just going to watch it. It should sound a little bit weird because you're playing it twice, but you shouldn't hear it with an echo. On. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so that's pretty much perfect for us. And now I'm not necessarily going to edit this, but what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this green screen to be transparent. And now what we want to do is we want to go into keying and then just Kia. This will automatically pick up our green, but what you can do and what I would recommend you do is to quickly go into your color board or color wheels is to on the master bring the exposure all the way up and then bring the saturation all the way down. And this will basically just mean that now what was a little bit of almost yellowy green on the edge. So if I zoom in on here, what was a bit of yellowy green of just where it's kind of fading into the green. It means that now once we bring that contrast all the way, that goes to black and white, and that exposure all the way really just makes it stand out. And it also means that the fading on the edges, which can look good, but also I prefer just having a solid kind of pen like you would on a whiteboard. And now as you can see, this is because this is lined up. And once we're okay that it's lined up and we're convinced, we're gonna turn this audio all the way down because it will sound a bit weird. But now when I am writing on here, as you can see, it's showing up as I'm talking. This is really good for any of you that are trying to present something or show something and actually makes your videos look that little bit better. Now you may be thinking, but I've not got Final Cut, how do I do this? But actually once you've brought these files in, it will work on pretty much any editor that has a green screen. Because that's all this is. Try this out, give it a go. Honestly, I think this could really help you out, especially for all you artists or just people that want to present something as they're talking. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.